How are we all doing? Oh yeah, it's one of our favorite times. It's one of my favorite times, story time. Yeah, yeah, we, we were talking about uh, the past with me and, 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 and I have a bunch of story times. Well, this one's about my uh, my first workshop. See, uh, when I don't know if y'all know this, uh, when I found out from him I had to go do this, I had to get rid of everything I owned and, and, and go on this mission. And uh, what I left was my last wor workshop, which was uh, a 30 by 70 garage with a 12 foot ceiling, a car hoist, a regular 8 foot garage door and a 10 foot garage door and uh, a real castle. I mean, it was a castle. Uh, I'm so missing that one, but uh, it's worth it. Yeah, it saved the world. Uh, anyway. Uh, my first one, though, my first one, I uh, I had had uh, my dad's garage and, and done many things in it, and uh, but it was never mine. And uh, I got out in the world, and uh, I ended up getting married, and uh, her and I got a place down in Vegas that uh, it was a mobile home, but we owned the property, which was kind of cool. Uh, so it was like having a house, and uh, it really was a, a really nice little place and uh didn't have a garage though uh, i yeah what i had in the back was one of them uh i don't know y'all ever seen them uh, the metal sheds uh the little you know arch top and uh you know you get them at montgomery wards or sears or whatever and you put it together and you little screws it's just tin but it it was a little shed but it was one of those that was one of the bigger ones it was see i'm a six foot guy and uh to be able to walk in those, uh, most of them I cannot walk in them. I have to hunch over. This was one I could actually walk into and was uh, pretty big. But uh, I, I slowly outgrew that and, and with the tools and stuff that I had started to accumulate and, and get. <coughs> I uh, was working at a job uh, called Bonata Aviation uh, where we were literally building a warehouse. We had all these parts that were over in Europe, aircraft parts that were being shipped here to the United States so that they would be here and available and not have to go through customs for uh, airplane orders here. And so they were shipping all these parts to us and we had lots and lots of parts. We had the big stuff too, entire landing gear and uh, engines that we had shipped to us. Well, they were all crated up and they had these huge crates and uh, we uh, were not going to keep all this crates because we had to get rid of the wood it, it, we can't have that so um, couldn't get it in the dumpster and so I have to cut it up and uh, as I'm cutting this stuff up I'm sitting there thinking what a waste what a waste and I got this dream I was gonna put an ad on to my little metal shed yeah, I'm not kidding you. I swear, I I did an addition on my metal shed. I put another, I don't know what it was, 10 feet. And, uh, yeah, and, but I had to get that arch to where I could walk in there. Because, uh, you know, that's the thing about the sides of them sheds. They're not very high. So uh, I had to uh, engineer my own. And uh, I did, though. I took all these crates and cut up the pieces before I left work and threw the leftovers away and took them home and started putting this little shed together and uh, that I tell you what it was a little roomy in there after that I, I felt pretty comfortable uh, that was my uh, you remember I was telling you about when you come home and that, that, that the, the, the wife is like rah, 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 and you're just like you know what I want a beer and loud music and that's where I would go that was my retreat that was I spent a lot of time in there and a lot of beer I I won't lie that, that was my beer drinking days and uh, it was it was tough hitting through with her she, well, she was one of those that uh, you know if she saw you dude it was like deer in the headlights oh shit she's gonna give me something to do oh, damn it <laughs> so the best thing I could do stay the hell out of her sights and uh, I, I learned that really well. It was just one of those things. You just did not get yourself in her sights because next thing you know, you're going to be stuck with some damn laundry chore or some other bullshit that you know you don't want to do. And uh, it's just 
hide, hide. I, I did a lot of hiding, the best I could. Uh, and then sometimes I'd hear it coming out, I'd go around the house the other way, so. <laughs> <coughs> and guys, I'm telling you right now, if that's how you're living your life, probably want to bail on that one. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't have a good future. I, I've lived it. Yeah, it does not have a good future. So get out while you can. Um, anyway, it's uh, one of those things. It, you, you live and learn. But uh, that was my first shop. That was, uh, and I was proud. Uh, uh, to the, uh, I, uh, I even painted it. I know, I know, I know. It was, it was one. Uh, you'll see. We'll, we'll sit down and we'll uh, when we get up there in topside, I'll show you how awesome my. Uh, my little first shop was, and uh, I did. I had a benches. I had a vice. I had. It was a shop. It was, uh, you know, and always organizing and drinking. Yeah, that's what I did in there, uh, and a lot of it, and uh, having to hide my beer cans. Uh, yeah, that was a hell of a task. But uh, I had a system. I, smarter than your average bear. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I had that figured out too. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, if you got to live that kind of life, you bail right now, dude. It's not a life. I thought it was a life. It wasn't a life. I did not have a life. It was pretty miserable. So, uh, you know, kind of a lot of my stories. I'm sorry if they depress you. It, it, it's not meant to depress you. It's just meant to show you that uh, I, I, I had it tough, too. Yeah, I know you have it tough. Everybody has it tough. It's boot camp, dude. It's boot camp. It's uphill. Rocks are rolling down at you. We got shit blowing up. Yeah, it is not a pretty thing right now. We're going to make it better, though. That's kind of what my mission is. And, uh, matter of fact, I got to get back to it. I got to sit and talk with him and do my thing and figure out where in the hell I'm going. I, I really, I, I, I'm looking for this rescue thing. I, I really need it. I, I, I don't know how much more I can take of this. Yeah, I'll be just fine. Shit, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing at all tell you the truth i am yeah yeah you know there's that saying you know when because I, I told you i got those memory issues that we were talking about it. It, it it does feel like i'm out on a lake with a boat and i get an oar and i i can paddle for shore and then all of a sudden the oar's gone and i don't know where i'm going again and then i paddle for shore again there's an oar yeah that's it oh shit where's the shore son of a bit i keep looking for the shore i am seriously trying to find the shore and i have been stuck out on this lake for quite a while now he says we're going to get to the shore i am so looking forward to getting to shore because uh i gotta pee i seriously i gotta go i'll be back